Over the next couple of videos, we're going to cover conditional operators in Java. Now, conditional operators in every language are very, very important. Ultimately, what this is about is making decisions. And so you can add quite a bit of functionality to your program. And ultimately, when you make decisions, you can have different outcomes. And that is the very basis for using conditional operators. Now, in this video, we're going to cover the OR conditional operator. And in the next video, we'll cover the AND conditional operator. So you can see I've created a class called conditional. Now, we're going to be using an IF and an ELSE in this program. Now, always with the conditional operators, you have two conditions that you are testing out. This is the first condition, and this is the second condition. And in each condition, we're using the equality operator, which is this equals equals. Now, you will remember this does not mean that A equals 5. What we're asking here is, does it equal 5? So we're really judging this variable to see if it really equals 5. So we're not setting the variable, we're just asking the simple question, does does this equal 5? And so we're doing it twice. Now I've made these variable names very simple, an A and a B. And of course the A will be our first condition and the B will be our second condition. And then here is what we use for the OR conditional operator. So again, it always has two conditions. Now if the overall OR condition is true, then we will print out this line right here, which says the condition is true. If it is false, this code will be skipped and the else will be triggered. And that will print out a line that says the condition is false. Now it's always useful to sort of plot out the outcomes in all of the types of conditions that you do, because then you'll have a good idea of how it works. And so that's what I've done here. You can see I've put the A condition here and the B condition here. Now you'll notice that one equals true and zero equals false. Now you'll notice right away that three out of these four outcomes are true. Only one is false. And that is the way the OR works. You only need one of these conditions to be true in order for the overall condition to be true. So you can see here a true true gives us a true, a true and a false still gives us a true, a false and a true still gives us a true. Only when we have two falses is the OR conditional operator false. That's the only outcome. So that's how this works. So let's go ahead and run this. Now you can see I've already set the first variable to 5 and the first variable to 6. So we're going to be doing this first outcome. Both A and B are true. And so the OR conditional operator is going to be true. So this line should be executed. So let's go ahead and run this. And there you can see we got the expected output. Now let's do this second outcome. So what we're going to do is the first one is going to stay true, but the second condition will be false. So let's flip this number to 66. And then we'll go ahead and run this. And we still should get the true condition. And we did. The condition is true because, again, only one of these has to be true. And in this case, the first one was true. Now let's do this third one. So we'll make the first one false now. So we'll make this 54 and we'll make the second condition true. So let's go ahead and run this again. And we got the expected output. The condition is true. Now let's go ahead and we'll do the fourth outcome. And so now we'll make both conditions false. So we'll set this to 67. Let's go ahead and save this again. Let's run it again. And there you can see we hit the else because both of these conditions were false and therefore this code does not get executed. The else gets triggered and it printed out the statement the condition is false. So that's the way the or conditional operator works. Remember, you always want to think about these different outcomes. Now, in the next video, we will cover the and conditional operator. See you guys then.